What's up everybody, Life's Apprentice. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, in our area, we are in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, um, and we have a season here for spearing lake sturgeon. Um, as far as I know, we are really the only place in the world, definitely in the United States, that you can do this. Um, I know in Michigan they've started a season a few years back, but it's extremely limited um, how many sturgeon you can spear. Um, so it's the day before sturgeon spearing, and uh, I'm going to show you guys. I'm not spearing. A lot of people that I know are not spearing this year. Um, the ice is in rough condition, and uh, it just doesn't seem worth it to me. Um, but uh, you look behind me here. This is just one of the boat ramps here in Oshkosh. It is loaded up. Um, I'll show you some of the shacks and everything out there in a minute. This is the mouth of the river, Lake Winnebago. Um, the ice is really rough here this year. So you got to be really, really, really careful out here. See a few trucks out here. Um, this area froze over back in uh, December, but we had some bad winds. Um, this lake, Lake Winnebago, is roughly 10 miles wide and 30 miles uh, north to south, and it's 10 miles east to west. Um, so we had we had the whole lake froze over. Everything was going good, and we got some really really heavy winds and blew the entire lake open except for a few spots. This is one of the spots. I would not recommend taking trucks out here. Um, a lot of places we have 12 to 18 inches of ice and a lot of other places we have five inches of ice. You can see everybody's out here cutting holes, getting ready for sturgeon spearing. Here we are uh, off of 24th Street boat launch. This is right next door to the last boat launch I showed you. Um, there's a few shacks on this side. I see some uh, some like hub shacks out here that people are using. Um, that's typically not what people use to spear out of. But this year, since the ice is pretty thin, um, some people are uh, using different methods than normal. Um, I would say in this area, there's about a hundred shacks right now, and it's going to fill up progressively throughout the entire day. Um, if you don't know anything about sturgeon spearing or you're just curious about it, I will, uh, I'll give you guys some details about how it all works um, here in a little bit. But I'm going to go through some of the launches and, and show you what people are doing. Um, on this side over here, I don't see any truck tracks going out here. I know um, yesterday they pulled a shack out of the lake. Um, we have a dive team sunk. They pulled a shack out of the lake over here that had fallen through yesterday. So if you guys are going out or you thought about it and you, maybe you're still contemplating, be extremely careful. No ice is safe. Well, there you can see some of the struggles of sturgeon spearing. These people uh, and men and women both um, put in so much work to do this. Um, a lot of people look forward to this um, all year. Um, this is a huge tradition around here. People come from all over the world, all over the United States, um, and many, 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 many local people just love this uh, tradition that we have here. 
you could see those guys uh i mean they didn't even make it onto the lake and they were already having problems now they got to drive all the way out there they got to cut a hole um, that one shack was really big so they're going to be cutting a pretty big hole for that shack probably three foot by eight foot um, and they'll be cutting that with uh you know some people use uh, uh hand saws ice saws um, other people use uh, chainsaws to cut these big holes. It's a lot of work. Um, and uh, it's really uh, kind of cool. You can see everybody goes out in their groups and helps each other out. And uh, it's really a, really a fun tradition. They're on the lake successfully. I thought about helping them, but it was, it was easier to film. Sturgeon house there. There's a couple more. We're getting right down by my house. I live in Sturgeon Central. Literally Sturgeon Central. You can see everybody getting together. You can see all the shacks and all the trucks. Everybody getting together. Huge tradition around here. drove to work this morning those guys were uh, pulling their shacks out looks like they got most of them out um, we're pulling up to Wentz and uh, the gas hole if you guys uh, are locals you know what I'm talking about but this is the sturgeon capital of the world right here you can see here at Wentz the I can't believe this but there's they're letting trucks out this launch is going to get uh, get pretty bad, I have a feeling, in the next few days. Um, we are supposed to stay cold, um, but it's a little bit too little too late. Um, but you can see people are staging shacks out here, getting ready to cut in. Um, and there is vehicles out there, which is... There's, there's enough ice, but what's going to happen is this, this launch is going to turn to shit. Let's take a drive out there. I don't know, dude. Show you some of the shacks. You can see already. I'm in a three-quarter ton. I would not do this. You can see this launch is getting mushy already. You can see all the shacks. Everybody staging them. Some big ones, some little ones. Well, I'm not going to drive out any further. You can see people staging shacks and cutting in over here. Um, heading out towards the, uh, the big island, which is right out there. You can see there's a nice pile of shacks out here. That's pretty normal year, every year. Um, but this year, people are really going to be stuck in some of these smaller spots. So I have a feeling there's going to be a lot less spears this year. Um, and the ones that are out are going to be stuck in small little, small little areas. This launch is going to be fucked. I won't be driving back out there again this year. Well, I'm back in the shop here. Um, I, uh, I just wanted to show some people. I know there's quite a few people who are missing out this year um, on sturgeon spearing just because of the ice conditions I'm sure there's people from other areas of the country or the world who um, had trips maybe planned out here and they ended up getting canceled because of ice conditions and stuff like that um, I think a lot of you people are making a good decision by not going um, the this is tomorrow is the first day of sturgeon spearing there's there's plenty of days left I know some of my buddies aren't going out tomorrow, um, but they may go out later this week. There's people who take vacation and just dream of this for, you know, it could be a once in a lifetime opportunity for some people. Um, and it just didn't happen this year. But um, everyone who's out there, be safe. Good luck. Um, remember, no ice is safe. I would recommend keeping trucks off of the ice. Um, what the 
it may be safe for the trucks right now but it's going to start messing up the bolt launches um, and I can pretty much guarantee you over the next uh, five to ten days there's going to be some shacks going through um, some vehicles four wheelers potentially going through the ice and uh, God forbid, hopefully nobody gets hurt um, in those scenarios. Um, so I'll be out tomorrow. Um, I'll be around Wentz and TJ's and the gas hole here. Um, hopefully I can get some shots of some sturgeon and, uh, and talk with some of the spears, uh, some of the locals and stuff like that. Um, but I just wanted to put this video out there. Um, I'm not an expert about sturgeon spearing by any means. I'm a big outdoorsman, ice fisherman. Um, but be careful out there, people. Be very, very careful. That ice is one spot you got 12 or 18 inches, and the next you go 10 feet and you got 5 inches. So just be, be really careful. I can't stress that enough. Good luck to everybody, and uh, we'll, see you, uh, we'll see you at the bar.